Yeast is a popular model organism, not just for genetic studies, but also for biochemical studies of proteins and other macromolecules extracted from wild-type and mutant yeast strains. However, due to their tough cell walls, a major challenge that researchers face is this efficient lysis of yeast cells without damaging the cellular content. The isolation of intact bio biological macromolecules is usually critical dependent on temperature. Preparing the extracts at low temperature ensures that the intercellular proteases and nucleases stay inactive, resulting in unreliable isolation of intact protein, nucleic acids, and other macromolecules for sufficient lysis. Various methods are available for obtaining yeast extracts through enzymatic, chemical, and physical lysis. However, Enzymatic lysis is expensive due to the requirement of purified enzymes to digest the cell wall, thus limiting the use of smaller number of cells. Further, the enzymatic reactions has to be monitored closely to prevent overdigestion and premature lysis of the cells. Chemical methods using strong denaturing agents, though effective, result in the denaturation of proteins and as such are not suitable for the isolation of protein complexes or functional enzymes. Physical methods such as lysis under high pressure in a French press can be carried out in the cold at 4 Celsius, but that is not cold enough to prevent degradation and denaturation of all native proteins. Other popular physical methods are the use of a mortar and pestle, blender or coffee grinder to grind yeast cells resuspended in a lysis buffer and frozen as droplets or grinding a mixture of glass beads and yeast in a fast prep bead beater mill or a lysis bisonication. However, manual grinding is labor intensive and the resulting protein yield can vary considerably depending on